Buying Disney's World, the story of how Florida Swampland became Walt Disney World by Aaron Goldberg is an in-depth look at the remarkable transformation of nearly 50 square miles of Florida Swampland into one of the world's most visited theme parks and resort complexes, Walt Disney World. Walt Disney himself had the vision to create a new type of theme park following the success of Disneyland in California. He sought a much larger area than the Disneyland site to expand on his ideas for a park, avoid the problems he faced in California, and include a City of Tomorrow, which later shaped into the conception of Epcot. In the early 1960s, Disney and his team, under the pseudo-names and corporations, started purchasing vast stretches of land in central Florida near Orlando, notable for its favorable climate and nexus of major highways that was mainly composed of swampland, orange groves, and rural pastures. This clandestine process was vital to prevent price hikes that would arise from the knowledge that Disney was the buyer. Employing innovative strategies and a network of trusted agents, lawyers, and realtors, they managed to acquire the land parcel by parcel to avoid drawing attention. The book delves into the strategies used by Disney to maintain secrecy and purchase the land at an average price of only about $180 per acre, a figure that seems almost unimaginable today considering the land's current value. The use of multiple shell companies blurred the connection to Disney, keeping sellers unaware of the buyer's identity and ensuring reasonable prices. This complex network of dummy corporations successfully prevented the landowners from realizing the full potential value of their holdings. Once the land acquisitions were nearing completion, speculation began to mount about the mysterious buyer's identity. It wasn't until an inquisitive journalist named Emily Bavar made the connection and confronted Disney executives that the secret was revealed. Disney, compelled to declare his plan publicly, announced the Florida Project in November 1965 alongside Governor Hayden Burns, garnering great excitement and support from the state and local communities. The book also explores the innovative governance structure that Disney managed to establish through negotiations with the state of Florida. Disney convinced the state legislature to pass the Reedy Creek Improvement Act, allowing the company to form its own government for the area that is now Walt Disney World, granting them unprecedented control over building codes, land use, and infrastructure. This special district, known as the Reedy Creek Improvement District, gave Disney unparalleled authority to fast-track the construction and expansion of its projects, essentially self-regulating within the confines of this private government under Florida's state law. As development began, the massive project faced numerous challenges. The swampland had to be drained, and a complex water management system was installed, which became a model for responsible environmental control. Partnerships with major corporations were established to sponsor attractions and contribute technology, ensuring that the park remained at the cutting edge. The concept for Epcot, Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow, evolved from an actual futuristic city into a permanent world's fair and symbol of innovation, as Walt Disney passed away in 1966 before the park's completion. Walt Disney World opened in October 1971, with the Magic Kingdom as the initial attraction, drawing vast crowds and immediate success. The economic and cultural impact on Florida has been immeasurable. The resort has expanded over time to include additional theme parks like Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, and Disney's Animal Kingdom, along with water parks, golf courses, hotels, and shopping districts. Goldberg's narrative illustrates the astounding forethought, planning, and execution by Disney, and his team. From the purchasing and development phases to the creation and ongoing operations of the theme parks and surrounding facilities, it all speaks to Disney's genius in envisioning a thriving multi-purpose entertainment complex where others saw unused and undesirable swampland. The author gives readers insight into the complexities of acquiring and developing the land the corporate secrecy necessary for the endeavor, the unique legislative measures set in place to facilitate construction and operations, and the creative vision that drove the project forward even after the death of its founder. Buying Disney's World tells the fascinating tale of how Walt Disney World came to fruition, changing the entertainment landscape forever 
and cementing Walt Disney's legacy as a pioneer not just in animation and theme park design, but in land development and urban planning. Through extensive research, Goldberg has pieced together this account of Disney's bold gamble in Florida's swamplands, a gamble that ultimately shaped the destiny of the region and created the world-renowned vacation destination we know today. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.